I mistakenly said that Solana broke its March high. Not only did it not break, it did break March high. It broke all-time high. 260 was its previous all-time high, and it went to like 265 last night. It retraced down a little bit, but this is Solana's all-time high. So that's insane that Solana already broke its all-time high, and we're not even in 2025 yet. That's how bullish it is already for Solana. And I've already called it Solana's go flip Ethereum. I still think that's in play. And now we're getting more and more ETF filings. We got Bitwise, we got Van Eck, 21 shares, Canary Capital. And soon enough, I bet you go get a filing from Fidelity and BlackRock. And as soon as you hear that, it's guaranteed that we're going to get a Solana ETF. And once Solana ETF comes out, watch. Solana's going to fly to the moon. You know it's going to happen. Institutions want it to happen. And those people that picked up Solana when it crashed to $8 after the FTX catastrophe, well, you pat yourself on the back because you're up thousands of a percent. And that only happened two years ago. Solana is absolutely insane, has gone on a bonkers uh, rally. And now there are people that are predicting that Solana could get up to, now this is past 2025, but it could go up to 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 by 2026. Well, I'm not even that bullish, but I, I think in, by the end of 2025, it could get up to maybe 1,000, 1,500. But this is predicting by 2026, 2027, it just keeps going. This is predicting we're in a super cycle. We just keep on going, right? Like, But I do think by the end of 2025, 1,000, 1,500, maybe in the most bullish case, 2,000 is possible considering that we're already at 250. So a 4x in 2025, I think that's very easy, but it could do a 5x, 6x. Yeah, especially if an ETF comes out. But not only that, Cardano, Cardano is doing very well, leaps to a two and a half year high. And I already, I already uh, mapped out the next level. It's like a dollar 18 or something. If it keeps on going, Cardano is gonna do very well, especially if they have this contract with SpaceX with the new Doge initiative, and they're gonna work directly with the new administration. Cardano is looking very bright. They also have this Bitcoin OS integration where they can pull liquidity from Bitcoin as Bitcoin gets higher and higher and higher. If that comes to fruition, uh, the DeFi landscape for Cardano could really change. This is what the Cardano guy's been waiting for, right? For this entire, entire year, people have been waiting for Cardano to do something, and now it's doing it. And I've said this too. I've said this many times. Cardano is probably the most boringest chain out there until it isn't. In 2021, it did the same thing. It did not move at all. Until it did, and it skyrocketed at $3. And now it's doing the same thing. Is it going to skyrocket right up to $3 and beyond? It could. That's exactly what it did in three in 2021. But this time around, there's actually things to look forward to. And even their, their, uh, their meme coin, Snack, I just checked yesterday, went up to $250 million already. It's crazy. So there's a lot of enthusiasm over that. My favorite, favorite, favorite crypto of all time, XRP. I alone have the most educational video ever created. If you search, no one else has a copy besides me. Uh, XRP is rocking up to the moon. And, uh, you know, they have, they have a relationship now with Cardano, with Stellar. And uh, they're going to do an IPO. They're going to come out the stable coin. And as soon as Gary Gensler is gone, their lawsuits are going to be over. They're going to be sitting pretty. They got mountain loads of cash. They're just going to like dominate the world. 
So that's why they're going to go to the moon. And I, I've been trading them as well. I've been, I've been <laughs> my most traded crypto is XRP right now because they, they, they actually have the most movement right now. <laughs> you know, Peanut was supposed to be like the new thing. There's a new one now called Chill Guy. Now I've never heard of it. There's more holders for this than Peanut already. So you got all these random memes that's popping up. And this is why... Solana is doing so well. You just got like a whole bunch of stuff coming out every single day. But you got to be careful, right? A lot of people ape into like random memes expecting to be a millionaire overnight. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to lose money. So if you're going to gamble into these random memes, do so very carefully with a very small amount of money because in most cases, you're going to lose money. Just treat... Treat them as like a lottery ticket. Just like if you're going to, to buy a scratch ticket. Most likely you're going to lose. But if you happen to win, good for you. What else is there? Injective. They're also building a meme bridge between Solana and Injective. I don't even know how that works. So you, you, can, you can bridge memes from Injective to Solana and Solana back to injective i don't i don't even know what the purpose of that is but that's that's being built right now we haven't heard a lot about injective we we do hear about a lot of like random l1s being pumped i have not seen injective was one of the most hyped up chains in 2023 earlier this year they were doing very well they have been building as you can see they have came out with Injective 3, they have more burning. They have been building quite a lot this year. So I haven't really seen them move yet, but they could be. They definitely could be. So I'd say Injective is a good candidate for a big move soon. Floki is going to be added to Coinbase. Uh, I guess that's not a surprise because Floki's been out for a while. They're, they were... They're, they've been out since 2021, like the third big meme behind Shiba and Doge from 2021. Okay, so that's that's okay. Bonk, near all-time highs, 24-hour volume on Coinbase exceeds that for XRP and Solana. Bonk, you know, every time I, 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 I was talking earlier, every time I trade Bonk, personal story, nothing really against Bonk, but every time I trade Bonk, I lose shitloads of money. Just don't ever trade Bonk <laughs> because it's just way too volatile. Personal story.